Thank you, Mr. Chair, and I'd like to thank uh, all of the witnesses for your attendance and participation in this important study. Um, I'd like to uh, start off by um, saying hello to Mr. Chu, and uh, I have a number of questions for you, sir. So I understand that um, it wasn't just yourself that was impacted by, by foreign inter election interference, but in fact your former colleagues uh, Alice Wong and Bob Soraya. Now, I've done a little bit of research. I understand uh, that all three of those ridings have a very large Chinese-Canadian population. Can you opine as to uh, what you believe to be one of the factors or a number of factors that contributed to the number of traditional conservative Canadians in those ridings that, for whatever reason, simply did not vote? I understand there was a substantial drop in the percentage of voting, not only in your riding, but Ms. Wong's and Mr. Soraya's. Can you offer some, some information on that for me, please? Absolutely. Um, I think there has been study conducted that shows uh, across Canada, um, wherever there is a high con concentration of Chinese population ridings with that, uh, the number of support that uh, the Conservative in 2021 has received has dropped, uh, bucking the trend of uh, all the other ridings uh, in the neighboring ridings uh, where those uh, ridings are. And uh, I, I think it, this, is, this is the effect of the disinformation that's been spread. Uh, yes, uh, they target specific candidates such as myself. Uh, in in writings that I represent or I, I was running, and but at the same time they would also generalize this and use it across Canada in many of the Chinese writings to indicate that the party itself, the leadership itself, um, they have taken an, an anti-Chinese role, and uh, the fact that uh, they've they've misconstrued. Uh, misconstrued that um, uh, Mr. O'Toole, the conservative, will ban WeChat. Consider, like, put yourself in their shoes. Uh, if you rely on WeChat for the only uh, lifeline to connect to your family and conduct business in Canada, uh, and if a political party will do that, and that particular party, there is an MP that proposed a foreign registry that would put you and your descendants into jeopardy. Would you be voting for that, even though they align very very well with your value. So I believe across the country uh, it actually has hurt many of writing, even though we have won, but potentially, but potentially with a smaller margin. Okay. I guess it really highlights the, the importance of social media to Chinese Canadians, particularly the platform of WeChat. Were there other platforms of social media or other ways that they spread the message that you ought not to be considering conservatives in the next election? Um, it's not just WeChat. It's not just social media. It's multidimensional. It's on the airway that uh, CRTC is supposed to be regulating. Uh, it's on uh, printed media. It's also on websites. Uh, these these multidimensional um, disinformation campaigns help to solidify the um, the mistrust on certain particular politicians or political party, and it, it it's very effective, especially during election time. Was any of these issues prevalent in your election success in 2019? Did you feel the pressures uh, from Beijing? In 2015, I actually had an opportunity to sit down with the Council General in Vancouver. I believe she was trying to size me up back then. Uh, but in 2019, um, they have decided that I'm completely beyond hope. So the information that I've got from my uh, Chinese supporter has been that they've They've told people not to vote for me, but there is no active campaign against me that I can, I can observe. In 2019, uh, NSICOP, the National Security and Intellig Intelligence Committee of Parliamentarians, which is made up of parliamentarians of, of every stripe, uh, studied the whole issue of foreign election interference and made a number of recommendations that would appear that the Liberal government did not follow through on. Our Prime Minister most recently, in light of all of the uh, information that has been leaking, has indicated that he has to do a better job and, and follow the recommendations. How does that make you feel, sir, knowing that the Prime Minister who had this information four years ago essentially ignored all of those recommendations? Very quick response, please, Mr. Chu, if you don't mind. 
Thank you. I, I, try to, I try to be as nonpartisan as I can, but frankly, being a targeted person and uh, a particular uh, ethnic race, I feel I'm, I'm vulnerable, that my, my, government, my government is not there to protect me when it's needed. Thank you, Mr.